I love brunch. What's up, Pink Nation? Today's another gorgeous day in Lviv, Ukraine, and today we're going to... All of the churches. So apparently there's a lot of old architecture here. It's one of the more Renaissance cities in Ukraine, so we're gonna go explore all the churches and try all of the food. Yes. Okay, and we have made it to our first church. I think we're gonna go to this church and then have brunch. It's gonna be awesome because we are super hungry right now, but this church is called... Bernardine Church and Monastery. Apparently it's famed just because it's like kind of in the center here and it has a very Baroque interior. That church was beautiful. I don't know if we can yes. use the word like gaudy for a church, but compared to the Orthodox churches we saw in Bulgaria and Romania, yeah. these are definitely more ornate, if that's how you want to say yes. it, but just like gaudy is the word that's coming to my mind. Everything has like gold painted something on mm -hmm. it. Yeah, like the altars are huge, mm -hmm. and that's what's really cool. I've never experienced a church that has so many different altars. You know, like you can pray directly to Jesus, or Mother Mary, or like Archangel Michael, mm -hmm. or Saint Nick. You know, it was very interesting because people were praying to specific people. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so we are here at brunch we saw a lady making pierogies or like some dumpling type thing in the window and so we definitely yeah. had to stop by they're this called place. something different though it's like veraniki. Veraniki. veraniki i don't really know we ordered like four entrees because we are super hungry since we didn't eat anything yesterday on our long bus ride it's about to be amazing so Okay, so first we got this green onion toast with pork fat on it, and then we got borscht, which came in a like clay pot. What is going on? This is like a lot different than the borscht we've had in Poland. It has like actual like chunks of stuff in it, but like the, the borscht in Poland was just like clear broth. This looks so good. This is better. <laughs> now we have the brandiki. We got chicken and potatoes, cabbage rolls and potato pancakes, and they all come with sour cream. We haven't had sour cream since we left America. So a very popular item here is just pork fat. So we have a piece of like really rustic, maybe even rye bread, pork fat and green onions. And the, the flavor is interesting because you really don't taste the pork fat, but you can feel the pork fat in your mouth. And it's kind of creepy. And my first bite was kind of like hard to swallow because I knew what I was eating, but overall, I kind of understand why they would eat it. It's it's good. It's not bad. It's definitely can definitely put some meat on your bones. Whew, that was amazing. amazing. We normally don't eat at street side cafes, but this is one of the cheapest cities we've ever been in in Europe. And that just felt so fancy. <laughs> Like we always, like every time we walk by a cafe that has outside seating, we're like, oh, at least I am. I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but now we got to do it. And now back to churches. <laughs> It's a church we just went in. It's called Jesus Christ of the Most Holy. And you said you liked it because what? Well, they had like, these like awesome murals 
up on the ceiling. And it was a real shame because some of it was covered up because they might be like restoring it. Restoring it. Yeah. Our candle smoke. But yeah. it was very, very beautiful. is a market is an antique market mostly selling books and like old pins and some artwork and there's like old guys playing chess and it's just really really cute the vibe here is just so relaxed like this is where our grandparents should be hanging out <laughs> since we've been in Europe is the fact that there are all these older European cards that we only see in movies. Like we watch, well Leah showed me the preview of Spice, Spice World? Spice World. Spice Up Your Life, whatever it's called. <laughs> and I was like, what are all these old European cards? And just like, it's so cool to be here, here seeing all of them because in America we do not have mm -hmm. any of these European cards. So it's kind of like we're walking in a movie set because all these cars weren't real and now somehow they are. say that a lot about a lot of Eastern European cities because we've been like mm -hmm. submerged in Eastern Europe for such a long time but really I mean it is so adorable and we've been kind of comparing it to Krakow because Krakow is like the cultural center of Slovakia mm -hmm. or excuse me Poland, Poland yeah. but this Lviv I think is like more the cultural center of Ukraine yeah. I mean it was a, like a super medieval city at one mm -hmm. point and then it got burned to the ground yeah, and they like the they, 11th century yeah yeah they built it up in Renaissance style mm -hmm. and so it is just adorable and everything is so, so cheap. So cheap. Like, if we stayed in the downtown part of Krakow, it would have cost like 80 bucks. But here, we're yeah. staying right in the middle of everything and it costs $28. Love it. So unfortunately, the church we were looking for is closed, but that's okay because we were just having so much fun looking around the city. It is so quaint and cute and adorable here. It is just a lot of fun. Okay, and we have made it to our last church of the day and it's called... Verkla Rangskirch Lemberg. Yeah! Yeah! That's it is a Greek, called. It's a Greek Catholic church and it's very different because it, unlike the other churches we've been in, there's no like pews. It's just all standing yeah. room, which yeah. is, we've only seen that in Bulgaria. Right. And it was built in 1731. there is to show you today because everything kind of closed. All the churches closed at 5.30, the market's apparently closed at 6. So this kind of ends our day, but it's been really, really nice here. It is. I would definitely recommend this to anyone who's like, I want to kind of get out there in Europe and I don't know what I want to see or where, what matters. You can have like a certain place you want to go. This is definitely a great cheap option yes. on the way to a lot Very of places. Very inexpensive. Yeah, like we're going to Odessa Stay next. here to eat here. 
and we do activities here. Yeah. Yeah. I would highly recommend this to a lot of people. It's really and nice. It, it is off the beaten path. I mean, mm -hmm. it's kind of Ukraine's like almost in Russia. So. <laughs> we know it's, it's far. To get here. Yeah. <laughs> we like it. Yes. Viv Kiev, and today we're going to Viv Kiev. That toast thing with brush, the borscht.